Hey guys, um, this year we have an online math textbook and I want to help you be able to find that online textbook so that if you need to use it, that will hopefully not be too hard to find. All right, so if you go to tops.education, tops.education is our school website. And on tops.education, you've got class link, email, Canvas, PowerSchool. All of these links are here, easy to access to get everything that you need. Um, in one location. All right, so if you go to class link, now your class link is going to look a little bit different than mine. I have some different buttons than you, but I've got um, this new button here, HMH Ed Teacher. Now I have the teacher's edition. You're going to have a student edition, hopefully, and so I'm, yours is going to look a little bit different than mine, but I want you to go to HMH Student and click on it now you may have to register, you may have to sign in, it should be your same login if you do. See it says welcome Carla, it knows that I'm who I am and this is my resources. Alright, so I'm not sure exactly what you're going to see up here. This is the teacher textbook, like I said, I don't really have access to the student book. I'm not sure why, but if I do I haven't figured it out yet. But anyways, if you're in Algebra 1, you should see Algebra 1. If you're in Algebra 2, it's going to say Algebra 2 because I teach multiple things. I've got all these classes here, but let's say um, what you get in here, you're going to see um, hopefully these modules. You should be able to click on um, Student Edition and there should maybe be Interactive Lessons. I think when I assign things to you, it's going to come to you and everything that you have to do is through Canvas but it may have stuff um, that syncs back to the textbook. But anyways, if you have um, a lesson and here's a student edition, this is what you should see. So you may see um, this is your textbook and you will be able to have extra practice problems. You will be able to find your vocabulary words if you need to know what your terms are. This is an easy place to try to get a better explanation if there's something that you don't understand. You can take notes up here if you want. You don't have to. You can change the view here if you want to see one page instead of two pages. If you want to zoom it so you don't have to strain your eyes to read it, you can do that as well. So there's several little things that you can do using your online textbook. So please use this as a resource. You will notice in some of the videos I will tell you you know, we're working on Lesson 1.1. Go find Lesson 1.1 and, you know, you should pause the video, come find that in your textbook, and then try to follow along. So this is a great resource that we've not had in the past, so I hope you appreciate and use this. If you have any questions, please let me know.